Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, how are you? Hi. I'm good, how are you doing? Um, okay, so we're in Shepherd's Bush, uh, like every Wednesday. We call ourselves Freedom Fighters. We fight for many human rights. We've been coming here every Wednesday from 2.30 uh, p.m. almost for two years now. Two years? Yes. Um, first of all, this all started with the government tyranny and how it was um, basically abusing human rights in the name of the greater good because of COVID. Then, upon further investigation, um, we discovered not only that some vaccines are not to be trusted, but all of them, actually. It's just a shame that people either don't want to or don't have the time to research themselves, to know that each and every ingredient, ingredient of each and every cocktail of every vaccine that has ever been has no business being injected in the human body. Uh, now, there are a lot of people that will argue that and say, well, you've got to weigh the risk with the benefits. But um, I don't agree with that for the simple reason that upon further investigation, I also discovered that there are no such thing as viruses. Yeah. There never have been, ever in history. So it's not just about the COVID-19 virus. Right now, there are there is an offer of millions out there. I don't know how many. So the lockdown basically yeah. is not... Uh Yes. Mm -hmm. so yeah. no there was no real reason for it. Now, I'm not denying that people have had sick symptoms, that people have been dying. But again, if you do your research, you discover that there are other causes for people's illnesses and deaths. There are such things as toxicity and EMFs and stress and, yeah, um, a lot of other things, yeah, yeah, a lot of other things that are the real causes of people becoming ill. Again, here there is either a lack of interest or a lack of time or even a lack of taking responsibility right, so as I've an seen, adult. I've, I've seen yeah. you uh, giving a uh, leaflet. Yes, so yes. what's that leaflet about? Because it says digital ID or something yes, like that. Yes, there are leaflets like... about many things. So this is about the digital takeover of our society. And part of, part of this takeover includes the cashless society. Perhaps it's the most important thing of the digital what is What is cashless society? Basically, the cashless society means that physical money will literally, literally disappear and we will be expected to pay through machines, either computers or our iPhones. What does that mean? That, that, that means that we hand over too much power to the governments of this world or to the people who run this world. Nobody should have that much power because that lifts uh, things uh, open for digital tyranny. Uh, now, I think we've learned during these past two years, during two, uh, uh, through COVID, that the, gov you know, the, the greater good of the people is the last thing that the government has in their minds. So why should we trust them with a digital takeover of our cash? Uh, the danger here is that we may end up uh, with a system that is very similar to the social credit system of China which, by the way, they're already talking about for the West as well. What's your message to the public then? What should they do? Because they don't know about that cashless society. Maybe yeah. a small number of people know that. Now. Yes. Uh, what's your message to the public? Well, the first thing to do in order to fight against this is to keep using cash. And if you can, please, please don't even use your credit cards. I'm not even talking about swiping your phone. Using a credit card is the same as going cashless, OK? Uh, in fact, it's worse because through your credit card, they know everything about you. They know what your personal preferences and tastes are through what you buy. So, and they can literally, yeah, through your credit card, they can literally make a study of what your personality is through the purchases that you make, through your personal preferences, which, believe you me, they use against how, you. But how, 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 how would they get this information? Because if the bank is saying that, you know, uh, information that has been yeah. private, it's not, it shouldn't be passed to somebody else. Well, there is a big difference between what they say and what they do. And unfortunately, people don't just buy through the credit cards of their banks. They use other sources through the internet in, in order to pay for their purchases and if you read the small writing of these sources eventually you will discover the same things as we've discovered uh, you know with other um, sites out there who I won't name but 
what people use in order to in order to chat with each other and hang out and transactions in order to put their photographs there and you know it was it was discovered not too long ago a few years ago that they violated our privacy and that all our private purchases and our private information was being sold to the CIA so why should we trust that that's not happening all over again? So in order to fight this back, the first thing, people, that you should do, please, please, use cash. Refuse the, the cashless society. Apart from that, the digital takeover of our society is linked to the so-called green health COVID passes, which they are still pushing in, in Europe. And they still want that to... Okay. Okay. So under the, under the excuse of the greater good of you have to be vaccinated, right? They've invented something called the green COVID pass, which is supposed to keep track of whether you've had all the necessary COVID-19 vaccines that you need to have in order to be safe from so-called COVID-19. But this is just the beginning in order to control all your health, all your vaccines, all your medication, all your health statistics and after your health statistics basically comes all your information about your life where you've gone to study what grades uh, you, you you've been able to get from your studies where you work so basically this is a poster of everything they will want to control through what i call the digital tyranny yes i don't have a website but i have an email that people can write to me in and the email is called freedom awareness at protonmail.com so if you have any more questions about the digital tyranny or who controls the world or politics or what's really happening in the world, who runs the show, you can write to me at freedomawareness at protonmail.com. I will answer you. I will have a conversation with you and ask me anything you like. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it.